gearing up for Eugene celebration weekend running tonight through Sunday. Some of the vendors are set up. I'm standing on the balcony of the Astor building where I work. On the fifth floor, looking down Willamette Street. They're going to have bands playing there all weekend. I'm going to be hanging out down there tonight and then heading over to the 5th Street stage tomorrow over by 5th Street Market. They're going to have some blues bands over there. Alita and I are going to hang out down here. they got a beer garden over here to the left. And some folk music being played over downtown on the mall tonight. This place will be packed tonight. And there's, this is one of five stages that will be set up in town all weekend. I'm going to go on the other side of the building and shoot down over on the Saturday Market Park where uh, Saturday Market takes place. They're having music there. They're setting that up now. And I'll take some pictures tonight and uh, maybe get some of the parade tomorrow. Now I'm standing on the east side of the building on the fifth floor balcony. Uh, looking on Broadway Street, now I'm going to pan out. This is looking direct east now. Too bad it's overcast. Usually you could see the three sisters back over behind these hills, but not today. There'll be more music in the park down here this weekend. That's the Eugene Hilton. They're going to have a state set up there and the fifth street market area is back over these the other side of that building there'll be a huge stage over there and we'll be wandering around checking out the music all weekend and that's the intersection of 8th and Willamette and normally on a clear day the three sisters is sticking out right back over the treetops back there, but not today. Here's the Astor Publishing building. This has been one of the key events in our city for the last 19 years, and I want to thank all of you for coming. I want to make sure that you recognize a delegation from the Eugene Sister City in Shinju. Would you please stand up? The delegation director is Lee Jong Wan. And to show you what a great sister city they are, they have a special presentation for the citizens of Eugene tonight, and in particular, for Congressman Peter DeFazio. Peter, would you stand up?
74 Dodge Dark Sports. Uh, broke down cars. This is called Skunk Juice. Rolling down which truck will today got a million million. I got sitting in my pockets, it's got juice on my hands. And on a ruddy road full of glass and steel, got a toolbox on a mile. And I'm looking for a Mopar in this old boneyard farm. Hey, I come here, rolls here. Up in the mountain new big ops there Vans and rims and rice rockets Out behind the GM scores And old school buses rust Just the way they were when they bit that dust Both bars are always way out back Between the muddy river and the rusty railroad track yeah, the Mopars are always hard to find But you can always find a few There's Cordobas and Furies And Darts and Dusters too There's a diplomat on a swinger A New Yorker, a demon and a scamp there's a 68 Barracuda grill with both tail lamps. Yeah, the owner's got a little attitude, but I'll give you a deal if he's in the mood. Some say it's the moxie that makes him mean. Some say he carries those gasoline. He's pulling engines, booking parts, sorting and stacking starters vendors, gas tanks bumpers too this radiator damn near good as new
lake I'm building in rear end I got sand in my pockets and skunk juice on my hands I got sand in my pockets and skunk juice on my hands I got sand in my pockets and skunk juice on my hands It's good to see so many friends and fans and friends of fans and fans of friends and freaky folks. Hi, Mike. <laughs> We're really happy to be able to play the celebration again this year. It's been a few years, I think, since we've been part of it. I'm not even a Eugene resident anymore, but I still come back. Babegrass, just in case you were expecting fiddle sellers and stuff. If you've ever been to one of our shows, you know, you just know. You don't know. <laughs> Laura's suiting up here for her big dobro thing. Here's one of Debbie's that's on our second album. It's called Blackberry Vine. And there's so many of you, I can't even pick out the people that I know. You know, usually there's like 10 people and they're my family.
5th Street stage. So give a big welcome to this queen of the blues, Barbara Healy. Just 
connected your number and gone out. What a way and a love affair. Thank you. 
Make